Shannon here, our junkie. As you saw in my last video, well, no, you might not have seen it yet because my Saturday shout out's gonna come out on Saturday and this video is probably gonna come out on Friday. So in any case, I have come across some bee ephemera in my passing days lately. And I'm going to do a lovely bee page. So that's the plan. Can you see me? Am I in frame? Yes. Okay, good. I'm going to put a little of this on here. So hold it down. There. There we go. I'm going to use a little matte fluid medium, Liquitech Basics matte fluid medium. I put some. I took this piece of paper and I scrunched it all up so that it's got a lot of texture on it. going to put the matte medium all over the bottom of this page. Don't want it over that. I don't want it over the black part of my page, of the other page I did. We're getting to that place in our journal where we're running out of space. I think I'll put it on this side, because this side is straight. There we go. There we are. Put this on here so it's got some crinkles in it. There. Alrighty, I'm gonna cut this off for now. Just so there's no less bulky paper around. After I'm done, I'll take care of the corners, the edges. Alrighty, there we go. Now, I'm going to put some ink on here. What kind of ink do I want to use? This is green. I have tarnished brass. I'll use some brass, some orange. <laughs> I need to. Um, I'm going to use have this uh, sponge. I'm going to use some of that on here. So yeah, that's working well. It's already got some green on there, so that's coming off as well, but that's fine, it's, it's, it's all good. I chose orange because it's a B page. So, uh, yeah, I wanted some orange on there. Okay, that's good. Let me see what we can do with this. If it's gonna work. That's not gonna work either. I don't know why they bother with these sprayers. We gotta come up with a better solution. Cause these spray bottles is not the, is not the solution.
Okay, there's that. And uh, I'm gonna dry that off. Um, should I use gathered twigs, walnut stain, vintage photo, rusty hinge? Let me try rusty hinge. I don't know if it's going to be dark enough on that kind of background, but I will try. No, it's not, it's not dark enough. A little bit. I'll put some, it'll kind of be the background and then I'll get another, another color and I'll do it over top because it's not really, you can sort of see it, but not really. There. there. And I think I will use some Some vintage photo. Let's try that. Yeah, I think that's a good choice, eh? To do a bee background with. There we go. What's this? This is glazing medium. Hmm. Hmm. Increases transparency. Extends color. The thing is, though, um, well, here's what I'm going to do. I have a magic tool. I have a magic tool. My concern is that if I put this glazing medium on the background, which is made with distress ink, which is water soluble, that this is gonna, all that's gonna happen with this beautiful background I made, it's gonna wash right off. So, like any good media artist, journaler, whoever I happen to be, art maker, I have a fix for that. It's called workable fixative. It can protects computer prints, pencils, Pastel and chalk drawings prevent smudging and wrinkling. Well, I've got the smudging. I don't want to smudge. That's why. That was easy rework. Acid-free, archival, archival, safe. So you have to be careful with this stuff. You're not supposed to use it indoors. I'm only using a tiny little bit, so it'll be fine. There. That's it. All done. What we'll do in the meantime, okay, here we are. I got a, yeah. This is a, um, I forget what it's called, but I'm going to use it to edge, to get the edge off of my paper. There we go. And this one has it too, so we're going to do both. While I'm getting the edges off, the stuff is all drying. The ink is drying, the fixative is drying.
there, that's good. Alright, there we go. Now, now I should be able to put some glazing medium on here. Yeah, see, it's not, uh, it's not, it's not moving anywhere. It's just staying right there. So, it's a great tool to have in your mixed media toolbox. If you'd like to get some, I'll leave the link for it down below. You can go to uh, Amazon and, uh, and get some. All right. Now we're going to let that dry. And I'm going to pause the video and uh, come back afterwards and finish up my page. Take care. We'll see you back in a second. Okay. Okay. I was given some bees and some happy mail that I use, that I cut out for use on this page. And I'm also had this for a while, this little jar here. Okay, let's see where we're going to put these goodies. I have to edge those too. Put this here. that. Uh, I'm going to put some of this on here. Uh-oh. I forgot to edge them. bottom of it here. There we are. Put this on here. There we go. jar and put that on there this is your sweet I'm going to edge the rest of these. I don't know if I'm going to use them all because sometimes, you know, a little less is a little more, you know, you don't have to put everything on the page. If you want a page to be a certain way, you don't necessarily need the B. I don't know, we'll see. I might cut it down too. Cut this one out. This was in a circle as well. So I decided to cut that out. So there, put that there. Put that like that. And I think I'm gonna cut out the B word, the word B. I'm going to cut out the word B. There we go. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to edge the B as well. 
the B word. There. Now, let me see how I want to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. right there. There we go. And I'm going to edge the paper with the with the rusty hinge as well. So there we go. There is our sweet, our sweet B page. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the bees. And um, I need to sign my B page. Always sign your your paper, people. Art. Chunky, 2022. That's sweet. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, let me see here. How many pages do I have left? I have one, two, three pages. And a, sorry, it's side one there. So I hope we get this all done by Christmas. And I think I should be able to do that. So I hope you like that and take care and we'll see you tomorrow, Saturday uh, for my live at uh, 2 p.m. We'll see you then. Take care guys, bye.